Hey there YouTube viewers, uh, today I'm going to be discussing a little bit about the registry editor and what it is and how it works. I couldn't find very many videos on this topic so I decided to make it myself. I uh, hope, hope it helps for a few of you who don't know what the registry editor is and don't want to go messing around with it up until you know uh, how uh, sort of how it works. So basically what the register edit, registry editor is, is it's a utility with a file name regedit.exe that allows you to see, search, modify, and save the registry database of Windows. Uh, just hint of warning before I continue on, the registry editor doesn't validate the values you might enter or any keys that you might modify. Hence it is very important to pay close attention while playing with the registry file because no error message will be shown if any of the out of the ordinary modification is made. So don't go screwing around with the registry editor until you know what you're doing. So anyways, how how do you get to the registry editor? Uh, you first go to start. Uh, right now I'm running Windows XP. It might be a little bit, bit different for Windows Vista. and may, uh, I'm not too sure. But on Windows XP you're going to go to start and run. I'm thinking Windows Vista, I think you can go start search and then type in regedit.exe or regedit and then hit enter and then it, you can find it that way. But anyways, once you get here, or once you get to the registry editor, it should look a little something like this. It should say registry editor at the top and it should uh, have a few folders on the left side. And well, and this side should be blank, uh, unless of course you've been fooling around with the registry editor. Anyways, I'm going to briefly discuss a little bit about each folder here. <coughs> so H key classes root. This key is an alliance of the registry key H key local machine software classes and contains information related to OLE, drag and drop, shortcut, and file association information. Basically deals with shortcuts and stuff like that. Uh, H key user. Uh, what this key is, is it's, it is an alias to the currently active user's key. If the computer has only one user, this key points to the default subkey in H key users. So what I'm basically trying to say here is that it, it deals with users and user accounts and stuff like that. Uh, H key local machine. What this is, uh, th this key contains data related to all hardware applications and service issues on the system. The data stored in this key is user independent and is shared between all users on that particular machine. Uh, n next folder here, H key users. This key contains information related to each user's system preferences like desktop colors, fonts, themes, sounds, and various other configurations. So it basically deals with like uh, exactly what I said, desktop colors and sounds and stuff like that. A bit, anything in, within the users. Uh, and then the fi uh, final one, at least on uh, Windows XP, you guys might have a little bit more folders. You might have one more. Um, not too sure. But this one, this key is an alias and contains a copy of the branch H key local machine config with the current computer configuration. So it bas it's basically the configuration of your computer. But anyways, uh, like I said, I'll get uh, into more detail later on in other videos about each folder. Uh, you can open up each folder just by clicking on the little tab, the, mi the plus and the minus. Plus opens the folder, the minus closes it, but you probably already know that. Uh, anyways, uh, I guess I'll see you guys around.